Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, how to prove a parallelogram really is a parallelogram. So there's five ways we can do that. We can show that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. We can show that both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. We can show that one pair of opposite sides are parallel and congruent. We can show both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. Or we can show that diagonals bisect each other. Because each one of those things is a property of a parallelogram. So if we can prove any one of these things, we can say, therefore, this shape is a parallelogram. So unlike triangle proofs, we don't have a we don't have like an A S A or a side angle side. Instead we're just gonna have to write out this that since both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, this is a triangle. Or if both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, the shape is a parallelogram. So now let's do some examples. Okay, so given that DAD, which is this line right here, is parallel to CB, and that DCA is congruent to BAC, prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay, so first we're going to write down the given information. So AD is parallel to CB and angle DCA is congruent to angle BAC. And our reason is that that's given to us. So one thing I want you to notice is that since these two lines are parallel, some of their angles are going to have a special relationship to one another. So if you look, this parallel line cut by this transversal and this parallel line form opposite or alternate interior angles. And if you remember, the alternate interior angles of a pair of a pair of parallel lines are congruent. So for our next step, we can say angle DAC is congruent to angle BCA and then say if alternate interior angles of parallel lines then angles congruent. Okay. So now let's take note of what we already have proven. We know we just proved that this is congruent to this. We know that this is congruent to this. Now, I want you to notice that these two triangles share this side right here, AC. And if you remember, there's a property that says a side is congruent to itself. So since they both share that, we can say AC is congruent to AC. And that's the reflexive property. And now, if you look, we have an angle, a side, and an angle. And if you remember, that's one of our, that's one of our, um, ways to prove triangles are congruent. Now uh, you might be asking why we need to prove that these triangles are congruent. Well to show that this is a parallelogram, if we can get this line congruent to this line, then we would have two, a pair of opposite lines that are parallel and congruent. And then we can say that we have a parallelogram. So next we can say triangle DAC is congruent to triangle BCA and then we get and that's by angle side angle 
next we can say that A, B, C, D is, oh, well, no, sorry, my mistake. Next we can say that A, D is congruent to C, B, because remember, if triangles are congruent, corresponding parts are congruent. And I ran out of space, but our last step, I'll write, I'll write up here. So for our very last step, we can say that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. And our reason for that is if one pair opposite sides are congruent and parallel, then it is a parallelogram. So that's going to be the only one we're going to do today. Um, I'll make a, another lesson on proving a parallelogram is a parallelogram because they involve a lot of work. So make sure you come back and watch that.